pads the most important and probably one thing we've done in in past is we've probably been a bit tight on putting dirt in that there so we've made them too low and once the shed's there it's there so you need to make sure the pads build up probably a foot higher than you'd like so that water can never get into a hay shed because once water gets in a hay shed you've got a fairly big problem and the other thing we do is we put our concrete edges around them all um, and that simply stops water getting in there like if I was building a hay shed I wouldn't build one without the concrete edges because it's it's such a good safety barrier because water is our main factor again and it also stops the plastic blowing up and issues like that. The other thing is um, the concrete edge we had to put ours up once a shed was built because it hasn't really been a thing that the shed builders have been doing but if I was trying to put up a shed I'd get the footings done concrete buried on all one time and then the tin put up like that's how I would do it if I was going to in future. Concrete is the go and it's not it's not cheap we put four loads of concrete in that edge which is probably nearly too much so you're looking at $230 a metre so five metres by so probably a thousand odd dollars a truckload so it's probably four thousand dollars worth of concrete plus your mesh and a bit of labour that's in your $150,000 or $200,000 investment, so it's not a big problem.